What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Greg Like Mine and Bozeman. Hey, welcome back to the art department, man. Hey, first and foremost, man, happy new year. Merry Christmas. If I miss y'all, man, I'm saying it now to y'all. Hey, now it's time to get back to business. It's time to, hey, get this, get this money, man, get your business going and see the success. Let's all go to the top together. That's why I got this platform right here, the art department, man, for we can all get to the top together. Hey, first and foremost, man, look, man, today I'm going to be giving some brand advice. You know what I'm saying? Something simple right now, just to start off the new year, man, uh, some brand advice, because a lot of people have been asking me about them saying starting their brand, how they're going to start their brand, how they're going to do their brand. So, hey, I'm going to share some information, some knowledge that I have that somebody shared with me that I'm about to share with y'all, man. And we're going to go into it right after this intro. Dial, dial, I'm working in this art department, dog, that's all I got. And all my hard work and my talents take me to the top. I can't give up on my fam, man, they all I got. And I'm a hard working king, man, they all I got. I'm working in this art department, dog, that's all I got. And all my hard work and my talents. All right, all right, we're back, man, we're back, man. Hey, first and foremost, man, before you start your brand, listen to me. Get you a logo. Get you a logo that's going to match the name of your brand. You understand? Get something that's going to match it. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't just go off people. You know what I'm saying your family members are all them saying, "Hey, that's a nice." That, no, man, you want other people, strangers, to be like, "Man, hey, that's hot right there, man. That's nice right there." Cause see, your family and friends are going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to support you regardless. You know what I'm saying? You want somebody that's going to be honest with you. Hey, man, nah, that look a little funky right there. You know what I'm saying? Second, you got to know your customers. Meaning, what's your niche? In order to get your customers that you want to buy your brand, you got to find out your niche. What's your niche? What you going to I'm saying? What you shooting for? Like mine's art department. You know what I'm saying? Mine's goes, you know what I'm saying, from artwork to fashion. That's why I call it, that's why my, my phrase is fashion is art. Art never dies. Because what we have on is art. That's my slogan. That's why I call it the art department. You know what I'm saying? That's the same for you. So I'm reaching out to those that's into the art world, those that's into fashion. I'm bridging the gap and talking to both of them, you know what I'm saying? Because both of them wear clothes, both of them have clothes, both of them got a brand, both of them trying to get the artwork onto the shirt. You know, that's me. But what are you doing? What's your niche? What customers are you trying to reach? What's the age, you know what I'm saying, you trying to get out there too? You know, it's some people that start a, 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 a little boy, little girl, a youth brand. You know what I'm saying? Some people start a skating brand, a car brand. You know what I'm saying? But that's who they reaching out to. I had a brand called Diesel Loving, and that's why I was reaching out to the truck drivers. I can't turn Diesel Loving into a street brand to reach out to the street because it, 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 doesn't ha it doesn't relate to that. So it relates to truck drivers. That was my, those were my customers. That was my niche. Just the same as art department. I'm following my customers. I'm reaching out to my customers. That's my niche. So find out what your niche is and your niche, once you find your niche, that's when you're going to find your customers. Okay? Second, man, just start. <laughs> just start. That's all it is. You have the equipment. You got your heat press. You got your vinyl cutter. You know what I'm saying? You, you can start with either or, either or, or you can start with, you know what I'm saying, transfers. I said that in earlier videos. It doesn't make no difference how you go about. Just start. That's number three. That's the main thing. You know what I'm saying? Just start. You know, do your research on your brand. You know, find out your blank shirts. What kind of shirts, you know what I'm saying, your customers may want. You know, some of my customers... They, they want fitted, but a lot of my customers don't want no fitted shirt. You know what I'm saying? So you got to find out, you know what I'm saying, what your customers, you know what I'm saying, how you going to go about it, what your customers going to like. Do your research on it. You know, you can't just say, hey, I got a name right here. I'm going to launch it and set it out there. And you buying Fruity Balloon shirts and you thinking, why are you not selling no shirt? I don't got nothing against, I don't have nothing against Fruit of Balloon, but I'm just saying, but you, you trying to give them, you know what I'm saying, a shirt that got Fruit of Balloon all in the back, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man, that's not, that's not how you launch a brand. 
You know, do your research on what your customers may want. You know, you can find, that's why I say you got to find that niche. Then you'll know what type of blank shirt, you know what I'm saying? Is it a street brand? Is it a casual brand? Is it in between brand? Is it a, 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 um, a, um, a, a brand that, you know what I'm saying, a chameleon brand? You got to find out, you know what I'm saying? And that's when you're going to find out <clears throat> what kind of blank shirt you need. You know what I'm saying? Just like me, I told you. I had to find out what blank shirts that I needed to use. And you have to do the same. But that's what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So before you launch your brand, go through them steps. Find a logo that matches your name, that goes with your name. You know? Come up with a name. You know, don't just jump out with any name. Hey, you know, uh, uh, uh. Caribou Lou. This is a Caribou Lou brand. Okay, what does what does Caribou Lou stand for? I have plenty of people that they had a brand and I asked them what does it stand for? They couldn't even tell me. So get something that's that you're gonna have the meaning behind it. You you're gonna have a story behind the brand name. And that's when your logo is gonna fall into place. You know. Everybody stop jumping out. Stop just jumping because you've seen what everybody else is doing. Don't do that. Do your research. Do your research. Take your time. Hey, man, the market is, it, it may seem saturated, but it's not saturated at all. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody wear T-shirts. Everybody wears a hoodie. Everybody wears a crew neck, a uh, sweatshirt. So, it's not saturated because everybody need these need these things because everybody wearing. I don't care. You got a you got suits and a like hundred thousand suits. You are gonna need t shirts. You know what I'm saying? So don't think it's saturated that you don't want to start or you can't start or you doubting yourself. Nah, man, it's out there for you. All you got to do, you know what I'm saying, is hey, don't follow the trends. Set your own trends. Make your own mark. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say, leave a mark, not a stain. That's why I got on my hoodie right here. Leave a mark, not a stain. To remind me. To leave a mark, not a stain. So I'm not going to follow everybody else. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to create my thing because you know why? Because I have, I believe in myself. I believe in my craft. I believe what I'm doing. And I value whatever I do. So those are the things, man. This, this is the advice that I'm sharing with you before you launch your brand. You know what I'm saying? Research is everything. Take your time. You know, what colors you're going to go with. You know what I'm saying? What's this and that? The name tag. You, you got to figure out how you're going to do it. Are you going to go with vinyl? You know what I'm saying? Are you going to go with screen print? Are, we, are you going to go with heat transfers? Are you going to go with sublimation? Are you going to go with DTG? It's so many options out there that you can go with that you just got to find out one that you're going to start your brand off with. You're going to launch your brand with. You got embroidery also. So you have to do the research in your customers. Once you find your customers, then you're going to find yourself. Know you're going to know your niche, do your research on that, and then you're going to find out what they love. But don't, don't just throw them anything because... You 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 starting your brand off wrong, and I see a lot of people. I see a, I'm I'm saying a lot of people doing that. They trying to get out there real fast without doing no research, without no story behind their brand. So somebody come to you, ask you, man, what hey what what does Caribou Lou stands for? You know what I'm saying? They don't know. So do your research. You know. That's one of the main goals too, man. Do your research. Besides starting, do your research. You know, know your niche. What type of print method you're going to use for your shirt. All that, everything I've been talking about comes to that, and I'm saying, for your brand. For your brand. This is your name. This is your baby that you're trying to birth. So give it all you got. Do the research. Give it your give it your worth, man, your value, your time. So when you launch, it won't be no failure, it'd be straight success. 
So that's all I got for today, man. This is some brand advice because a lot of people have been asking me about it. So I wanted to share that with y'all, man. Just do your research. Start. Find your customers. Find your niche. Find the print method you're going to use on your shirts. And just go for it. Get your brand. Have a story behind your brand name. Don't just name your brand something that sounds good. Have a story behind it. Because, see, you think people buy your brand name. No, they buy the story behind it. So have your story ready. You know what I'm saying? Get a name that you can build a story around. Mine's art department. I have a story behind that. So this, this do your research, y'all. Do your research. And I hope that this information I'm giving you, that those that ask questions, you know what I'm saying, it will help them to better themselves, you know what I'm saying, to prepare themselves when they're about to launch or before they launch. And I hope this information that I'm sharing with you will help you better see, you know what I'm saying, to become, you know what I'm saying, to open your eyes towards the vision that you really have for your brand. Because that's what I'm here for, to help to motivate you, to inspire you, to give your all towards what you're trying to do, towards your vision, towards your dream, towards your goal. If you want success in the t-shirt business, that's why I'm here. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to push you in the right direction because when I was doing it, I didn't have nobody pushing me. I had to figure everything out by myself. So now I'm back here on this platform and I'm trying to give you some free information so you can be successful, so it can help you out. I'm doing this for free. So I hope that the advice that I'm giving to you, you know what I'm saying, will help you out. And remember, this is my opinion. This is my opinion, my recommendation, because this is the things that I did for me to be at the top, to be successful. And I just want to see y'all be successful. So go for it. 2022. Let's make a difference. Leave a mark, not a stain. Peace and blessings, y'all.